What's going on, EFT family? Here with Coach Kelly, I'm Coach Dane. We wanted to talk really quickly about sustainability, right? How to effectively approach your training so that you can continue to do this long term and you don't ride this huge roller coaster. Kelly, what do, right. what do we want to look out for? Yeah, so typically, not typically, but a lot of times we see people who join, they become a member, they're really, really excited. They will just want to hop on full blast. And yeah, that's and not. We love that. We love that, yeah, of yeah. course. But that's not necessarily the best approach for your brain or your body. So you got to think about sustainability. What's sustainable and where are you going from? Okay, we're starting here and we want to go here, but we need to gradually increase our volum volume and intensity to get to this point. Otherwise, our brain and our body are going to say, hell no, and you'll probably fall down and fall down even further than you were here. Right, right. We want to start to create a routine in terms of right. like a new routine, all this building new habits. Us. And then once we kind of now establish the new habit or the new routine, right. it's about progressing the load or the yep. intensity or the frequency. Yep. And you hear about um, like a lot of, a lot of little baby steps add up to really, really big steps, right? right? right. How do you I think that's that? important. I don't know this one. Yeah, uh, one bite at a time. Oh, one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I didn't know that one. Yeah, yeah. So but that's exactly, yeah. It's not just training, it's nutrition too, right? Correct. Uh, sustainability is important with nutrition. Yeah, so just as an example of that, when people start to follow a meal plan, they'll, they'll go from zero to 100 real quick. And they want to, every single meal has to be perfect. If they miss one, all of a sudden they're off the train completely. Right. We don't want to do that. You want to, so say you're eating healthy food, say you're not eating any healthy food at all, seven days a week. Start with just one or two days eating healthy meals, or even just one meal out of your three or four meals in a day. That is the best way to keep it sustainable and not fall off. That's right. Like small wins create momentum, Correct. and that momentum leads into to bigger, larger changes. Yep. So you can utilize our, our nutrition templates, 2.0, by the way, yep. uh, newly upgraded. But and, and to figure out like maybe where you're starting with some of the nutrition aspect, but understand that like don't go into that nutrition template thinking you have to be perfect day Correct. one. Yep. Establish a routine, maybe try to hit it on one day and then maybe two days yep. and then so on throughout the week and, until you have a formal routine. But Yeah, being, being perfect isn't the goal. Being consistent is the goal though. Yeah, hit us up if you've got any questions about nutrition or training and, and, and setting up that routine.